Alrighty, we're looking at the uh, large intestine, obviously, here, and what we want to do here is to think about the differences between the large intestine and the small intestine. So to start off with, uh, the large intestine consists of the, uh, the cecum and uh, the colon, and the colon is including the ascending, the transverse, and the descending and the sigmoid, the rectum and the anal canal. So um, this can be distinguished from the small intestine by a few things that are labeled here. First off is the tenei coli. So let's see if we can find the tenei coli. And the tenei coli are three uh, thickened bands. Um, of longitudinal muscle fibers, and if you can see these up here, and these are called the uh, tenei uh, coli. So these are pretty easy to see, these uh, ten, uh, tenei coli, um, and look very different uh, from the, um, the small bowel, the small intestine. So now let's look for hostra. Can you see hostra? Hostra are circulations or pouches of the colon between the tenei. So let's find these hostra. These are called hostra. And um, next let's look for the um, omental appendices. And what these are, are their small fatty appendices or projections um, of the colon. And then we must also think, of, you know, one of the big differences, of course, is the caliber. The internal diameter is um, much larger than the small intestine. So again, we have the, the tenia coli, uh, which is the thickened bands of long, longitudinal muscle fibers. The hostra, uh, the pouches of the colon between the tenia, and the um, omental uh, appendices, the small fatty appendices, projections of the colon, and then of course the uh, the size of it. So remember this consists of the cecum um, and the colon, ascending, transverse, descending, sigmoid, and the an anal canal. One last thing to take note of here is that um, the uh, longitudinal muscle is running along the first uh, lumbar vertebrae. And there's yet one more thing to add here. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, these road signs, this this right turn and this uh, left turn, I call them. But actually, this is the right colic flex uh, flexure where it makes a, a right turn. And then they call this the left colic flexure. And it's just another turn here in the in the colon. Anyway, Good to know, and let's move on.